All right, welcome everybody. I'm super excited to play Cataclysm. This is a game that I've had my eye on for a very long time, but it is got a bit of a learning curve. So it took me a long time to learn it. I actually have been playing it on my phone. There's a really good Android uh, port that plays really well. Uh, got some quirks there, here and there that I actually probably could fix if I knew more about the game or knew how to fix it or spent the time to look into it. Uh, but for the most part, it plays really well. And honestly, I think it's easier to play the game, um, or I should say learn the game through it, just because it kind of automatically shows you hotkeys that you might want to do based on where you are and what's around you, as opposed to being just a full keyboard of, shit, what button was that? Um, so I think it's a nicer way to, to learn the game. You're still going to have to watch some videos or some guides on how to learn the basics of the game. I think unless you're really, really familiar with roguelikes that are probably a lot like this, and I don't know if there are any, to be perfectly honest, then it's probably still difficult to learn. So it could be really confusing. I think if the UI was maybe a bit easier, um, simplified, then this game would be huge. Hey, Firewolf, welcome. But because it's not, and I think it's by design to be this way, it's a real turn off to people when they first see it. Um, and you just have to really get used to it. Dance, you penguin. But enough of that. Let's first set up a world. The first thing we have to do is make the world we want to live in. We have to generate it. Uh, and the cool thing about this is we can have more than one character playing this world. Um, if this character that we have dies here, we can pick up with a new character there. It's, it's really cool. We're making a world that multiple people can be in, and the world is going to be huge. Um, so it's not like they're going to be in the same spot, per se. They could be, but they probably won't be. Um, so here's a list of mods that we have on the left that we could want. Excuse me. I'm not going to probably do too many of them, just because I don't know the game very well. And a lot of these are for like, hey, let's spice up this game. Um, and there's some really cool things on there. Uh, adds more craftable. Um, yeah, I want the full description. Breaks intended balance. Yeah, I'm not probably going to be screwing around with guns too much. And if I do, then whatever guns are in there are fine. Replaces guns and ammo with generic types. Now that's something I might want. Um, simply because the game is super accurate to a lot of things and guns is one of them. Oh, good, it did trigger. Thank you for letting me know. I appreciate that very much. Um, but there will be very specific gun types, very specific mods, very specific ammos, and that's really cool, but I'm not really much of a gun person. I know about guns. I've held a couple. I've shot things. Um, I don't have anything against guns. I think it's really cool, but maybe generic guns, for now, might be what I want. Ma who knows? Maybe the mod sucks. Maybe I don't want that, but we'll, we'll add it. Um, there's ones that go into... Other things, what's this? Don't have enough near future firearms in your life? I feel like I don't. Makeshift item mods. This improves item variety and lets you make a lot more makeshift things. I think that's a great way to go, especially if you're newer to the game, because it can be hard to find some of your basic tools. Time crisis all the way. Damn straight. So what else do we have? Historical content. That can be cool, because you can really get yourself up in like medieval gear and stuff. Go out there, I'll suit it up and play it in armor. Uh, but I'm, I don't want to add too many mods. Too much content will overwhelm me for one, but the game isn't always stable. It will crash sometimes, and I feel like the more mods I add, the more likely I'm going to make that happen. More survival tools. Uh, various recipes, tweaks, whatever. Two new professions for being in a woods. I don't know if that's some clever way to say in the woods or if that's actually just a word I don't know. There's a fair amount of those. Uh, I feel like maybe I should try it. I don't know. I'm hmm. Tools, more tools always sounds great, right? But uh, I don't know if that's something I really want. Modular turrets, all that stuff sounds crazy and awesome. Mythical martial arts. Sounds fun. Like a lot of these things sound fun, but not for like a real legit first playthrough. There's a there's a lot of really great content in this game. This game is free. This game is open source. 
It is made by the community. Um, it's freaking awesome. So if this is interesting, I highly recommend trying it. But that's why there's so many different mods and stuff, I think, is there's so many people that just make it. No category. Indicators to chest hold. So these are indicators, interface indicators for like tile sets and stuff. I don't know what that means though. Part of me is like, you should probably have it. Part of me is like, I have no idea what it is. Tanks and other vehicles, vehicle addition packs. Uh, that's not much of a description, but okay. Fulming parts pack. Make solar panels and other parts foldable. So that's really cool. It means we can fold things up and put them in our pockets and stuff. Drag things around, I think. Uh, we'll try it. Screw it. Whatever. Like I said, I don't want to go too heavy, so I think this is where I'm going to leave it. Uh, any world settings we want, we can basically tell it how we want it to generate the world. Um, size of cities. I'm going to more or less keep this all default because none of it really means anything to me. Uh, carry on spawn rate. Ooh, yeah, that's right. Forgot about that. Uh, the monsters will evolve over time and become stronger. That is pretty cool, but I don't know if... I mean, 4 is default, so I'm not going to screw with it. Monster speed, monster resilience, default region type. What? Is there others? Oh, it was a work in progress. Determines train shops, plants. Okay, how do I edit it though? I just want to see what the other options are. Well, perhaps it's not that easy. Initial time, initial day. We'll start on January 1st. That's initial day zero. That's fine. It will be winter and it will be cold, but that's okay. Eternal season. Always keep it a single season. Um, part of me is like, yeah, go for it. But this takes place in New England, so it's going to be cold. There's going to be seasons. I'm fine with that. Only spawns classic zombies and natural wildlife. No, that's boring. Wandering hordes. No, I do want wandering hordes off. Surrounded still. No, I don't need that kind of trouble. Someday, not now. Starting uh, static NPCs. Yes. Starting NPCs based on scenario. That's fine. Random NPCs. Well. Oh. That's set up off. Hmm. Now I'm just going to keep this all. Oh, no. Rip Holt will be the name of our world. I don't know. Can we find a better one? Cosville. South Acton. San Dimas. Paradise Hill. How could you not want pill? It sounds like such a nice place to be. Yeah. Hell yeah. We're going to go with that. Plus, press tab when you're satisfied. Are you sure you're satisfied? I'm always satisfied. <laughs> All right, so we have Paradise Hill. Uh, you, sir, sound like a man who's never been to Northeast Ohio. Which, thankfully, it doesn't take place there. This takes place, I don't know exactly when, but I know it's in the next couple of decades in the future. It does refer to things that have happened in 2030s. Um, so I think it's about two decades in the future, but I'm not positive on that. Just know that it is in the future. All right, so we have a world. Let's go make a character. I want to customize my own character, uh, and then we'll probably save them. There is a very good chance that it may take a couple starts for me to spawn in a location that's actually safe enough for me to like leave and not die. Um, I play this game a little bit. It is common for me to like leave uh, and get killed by a moose or leave and be surrounded by ant giant ants. One of my bases, no joke, uh, the starting place is supposed to have a basement. The stairs just fell into a pit and I was in an ant colony underground, um, which is kind of cool, but not when you're really trying to win the game. So, you know, there's that. Well, don't, don't bother coming here. That's my advice. Uh, I don't know. I thought Massachusetts was really nice, but I've only really been to Boston, so. I've heard the rest of New England is nice. I've been to Maine, but I was like four, so that doesn't really count, right? 
So, but you can, just because you're starting off in like the default suggested survival bunker, or it's not bunker, but area doesn't mean that you're going to walk out and be fine. It's supposed to be relatively safe, but it's random. This is a very random roguelike game. So when we create a character, we can do it different ways. There can be multiple pools for each different stats and traits to pull, to get points from. I have it all from one giant pool or this free form. We might do free form just so I can get a couple extra points just because I am so very new at this game. But let's go multiple first. Different professions you can have. Sounds really cool. High tech, low life before the world ended. Bionics were reserved for the rich and famous. Yada, yada, yada. Oh, yeah, yeah. So there are like bionics you can get. There are mutagens. You can mutate into all kinds of random things. Um, there are challenge scenarios here. If you pick a different profession, or I should say scenario, um, you might get bonus points. Like this one in prison earns four extra points in starting, where ambush is zero. Uh, we're probably just going to do evacuate, just because it's the one I know. And like I said, it's going to be a really default playthrough. That being said, I'm probably also going to do survival. Just because, once again, default. It starts with a pocket knife, which is kind of nice, and some water, which is also really nice. Uh, in my experience, though, the water freezes before you get to drink it, which is not really nice. Uh, but if you pick harder ones, you get bonus points. Novice, martial artist, he starts with nothing other than his clothes, which is kind of cool. But I imagine he does have some martial arts. You can go down, you can get some really cool ones. Uh, you can be like a bionic assassin. Uh, oh, there's a couple more here. Bionic Thief, Bionic Runner. Oh, that's actually kind of cool, too. Costs four points, though. See, because you start off so cool, you're automatically losing points. You have a battery system. You have a finger pick. That's cool. Power storage, internal storage, which is cool. So basically, if you look at the bionics here, uh, you have a battery system, power your internal bionics, but your, your fingers are actually lock picks. Uh, you have basically a cavity in your body. You can store things. That's what internal storage is. And you have your Mark II power storage, which is a pretty good one. I don't know how you're supposed to regain your power with those bionics, though. Normally, you need something to power, to regenerate power. And maybe one of those does, and I don't realize it. Interesting. But honestly, costing four points isn't too bad, because right up there in the professional skills, you see marksmanship one, submachine guns one. That's two points right there. So for two points, you get a fair amount of bionics, really, is what that means. And you start with a pistol. You get pistol ammo. But I don't see a pistol on him. So that's weird. Whatever. See, like this guy has a uh, joint torsion ratchet. So every time you move, you generate power. Adrenaline pump? See, I don't even know what that is. I've watched a fair amount of this game, but I don't know what a lot of these things are. I don't... Hmm. Facial distortion? Turner chronometer. Prior to the apocalypse, you were employed by a major international corporation to represent them a technical advisor. Utilize the incredible power of their cybernetic augmented mind. A cerebral booster. Ooh. That's a really cool start. And you have bartering and speaking, too. Those are pretty worthless abilities, though, to be... But there's a bunch of them. That's, I guess, what I'm getting at. We're gonna, like I said, we're going to do a Valkyrie. But there's a boatload. And there's mods for more, of course. Traits. Uh, actually, I want to come back to that, I think. Because what I really want to look at are stats. Perception is useful because there will be traps. You don't want to run into them. Intelligence, I think, is very nice. Dex enhances many actions require finesse, range penalty, throwing penalty, chance to hit. Uh, okay. 
Yeah, that that's hard. And I want some skills here too. So let's see. What I really want, and I'm not going to go too crazy on this, is fabrication. Two. And what was the other one? What was the other one, Absurdum? Tainering, I think. These aren't too bad to level up on your own. Ooh, it might be Survivor, to be perfectly honest. Let's try that. But now you can see that I'm negative two points. We're going to have to make up for that. We can do that by giving ourselves the bad traits. Uh, but I will be, want to give myself some good traits too. Uh, but there's some bad traits that really don't affect you depending on how you're going to play it. Uh, there's some traits that are going to always affect you really badly. Uh, let's see. I know there's some ones that are pretty well assumed to be what you want deaf wow that would kind of suck you don't always use your hearing but when you do you really want to use your hearing uh hoarder would suck illiterate would suck insomniac so like insomniac you have a hard time falling asleep that's not really the end of the world to me alcohol and drugs go straight to your head you suffer the negative effects longer i'll probably take that to be perfectly honest I don't usually use drugs. Like, addictive personality is one I definitely want because I don't really use drugs. So that's fine. Um, you know, it won't be necessarily that I won't use alcohol, though. But if I need the calories or liquid to, like, not die, I'm going to drink it. Mood swings. Uh, that mood is definitely a thing in this game. I don't want to really screw with it. Pacifist, no, that would be awful. You don't even think about eating without a table. Hmm, how very rimworld. Schizophrenic sounds like it could be really cool. You just cause, you have hallucinations unless you take your schizophrenia on meds. Um, you don't know what is real and what is not real. It sounds super, super cool. Trigger happy. I don't plan on using fully automated guns truth teller ugly things like that that doesn't matter because well it doesn't matter for ugly there's no npcs truth teller doesn't matter there's no npcs and even if there was i wouldn't worry too much about trying to lie to them and stuff anyways over here things i really want maybe deft uh being able to dodge things and recover quickly is quite important wouldn't hate martial arts training. Uh, I'm sorry, melee weapon training. Oof. Uh, night vision is kind of really nice as well. I think we'll be fine. We can always learn these things by themselves too. Tough, tough feet. No, no, that sounds that sounds bad and not what I want. Like the strong back. There is another one I, I kind of like. Um, this basically lets me carry more weight. That's not usually so much of a big deal. When looting things, it's usually volume. That's more of a big deal. And that's somewhere around here. I think it's packing the looters. 40% more value. volume. That's kind of nice. I like to try to go traits where I can when making character because skills and stuff you will you can get those later stats um, there is a mod which I don't think I turned on called stats through skills which will increase your stats as you raise your skills which I think makes a lot of sense is nice and just something I should have turned on um, and I still might go back and do it actually but you can they're what they are these things why put points into them it's kind of my idea traits this is your only chance to get a trait as far as i know that could be incredibly wrong though but on all if it's gonna let me this is i'm happy with this let's pick a random name see if we get anything good no um no enrique buck buck levine i imagine that's living 
Buck. You know what? I'm just going to call him Buck. You don't need a last name. When your name's that great, Buck is fine enough. Oh, I can change starting locations. I did not know that. Oh, I have a choice from one to three shelters. That's whatever. What's? <laughs> How would I know the difference? Fabrication and tailoring are actually three. That's... Well, of course they are. Not really what I wanted, though. Uh, let's see if we can save it. Should be able to save it, but I'm not sure. We'll just name it abs because that's me, I guess. As a template. And that way, next time when this guy dies, if we want to play the same character, we can just bring him up and not go through all this mess. To save tab. Make sure we're finished. I was happy with that. Well, here we are. And there's a guy right next to us, which I didn't think there would be. Who are you? You are Federica Hagen, and you are scared. And then you're no longer scared. You have survived the initial wave of panic and have achieved relative safety in one of the many government evac shelters. So that's where we are. Just hanging out. We have a cell phone, matchbook, pocket knife. We're going to change that very quickly. It's most likely cold. Can we talk to you? It would have seemed so. What do you say here? Well, at least we've got this shelter. I've never started with an NPC before. He seems like a tutorial NPC, actually. What should we do? Any tips? Can I do anything? Can I do anything for you? Okay, oh, dyslexia. Want to travel with me? Let's trade items. I can't leave the shelter without equipment. Will you give me something? It seems like a friendly NPC that well, I could get to follow me right off the bat, which would make this game way easier, so I might just spend time ignoring him. But I do want to see if he'll give me something. Why would I share my equipment with you? All right, so I can try to persuade them. This is going to be difficult because I'm ugly and bad at lying, so I can't even lie. Uh, threatening him is most likely not going to work. I can try to save because we're friends. Why not? Over my dead body, go fuck yourself. Fair enough. Okay, fine. <laughs> That's alright. He looks like he has a gun and stuff. That's really impressive. This is a unique layout to the uh, shelter. I like it. Uh, we're most likely going to go in there and see what's going on. Nothing in these. There's only two entrances. I like that a lot as well. And there's the basement. Um, let's venture in the basement and see what we find. Because it could be anything. There could be monsters down here, in which case I'm running. Frederica is going to have to handle it. There could be whatever this is. Calcium tablets. Well, why wouldn't we want calcium tablets? A time like this? It'd be terrible if your bones broke. No one's going to argue that. No one in their goddamn mind. So let's go. Oops, that's not what I wanted. That's not what I wanted at all. But here we are. So <laughs> I just wanted to peek at them. I forgot I have to do this. So we can kind of peek through. So if there is something hostile out there, and there is, there is Amigo, uh, which is a very dangerous creature that I want nothing to do with. They will also say very scary things to you. Uh, and then I don't necessarily out myself by just kind of going through. So hopefully he has not seen me. But we'll continue to kind of just peek through here if we can. Eventually we'll be tearing down these curtains. Does not seem as if we see anything there. This is a good idea to always do something like this. Um, it's not uncommon, at least in my experience, to like immediately step out and get killed by something. Granted, if that's going to happen, it's probably just going to happen anyways. But, nonetheless, we'll do it. Let's take a quick look at our map. Where are we? What's around us? So the town of... something? We don't know. We don't know yet what town this is. Is up here. There's some interesting looking things. There's a candy shop. I've heard about that from the rap song. An abandoned storefront. Interesting. There's a bunch of interesting things here, which is cool. Because the game that I'm playing on my phone, it's uh, just houses. Like, it's just houses. 
which isn't bad, but it's not really great. Pawn shop, like there's there's cool things here. Another pawn shop, doctor's office. These are going to be useful. You can find pretty much anything I think in a house. Um, so they're not really bad. Small cemetery, baseball field. Hmm. But to have like a specialized place, bank, nice. Like storefronts and things like that. That's kind of what you really want. Apartment tower, but of course, cemetery, field, house, private park. This park is private. It looks like there's another evac shelter right here too, which is really cool. Because we could always just go there. A femur camp. Wow, that sounds incredibly dangerous. Because there's most likely going to be a lot of zombies with zombie soldiers and scientists and things like that. All very dangerous. As well as just regular zombies that made it to the femur camp and then died. So, you know, things and stuff. Things and stuff. But for now, here we are. Let's make sure safe mode is on. Safe mode is on. Uh, safe mode will keep me from hopefully walking into anything. That's my one complaint about the the game on my phone, the port. Safe mode's on, but it never seems to work. I've ran headfirst into so many like zombies and stuff uh, because it doesn't stop you like it's supposed to. But we're gonna head up here. See, like right here, this is what it's supposed to do. It's supposed to tell you whenever something comes is in sight that might be hostile. Uh, right now we have this black rat, but I can ignore it. To turn off, press that to ignore. I'm gonna have to move some of these keys, I think. So let's check this out. This is a sharp rock. Uh, everyone knows sharp rocks are some of the best rocks. They're not, actually, I don't think. From the southeast, you hear bang. Well, crap. I can only imagine what that's about. Ooh, I don't know how to zoom out in this, but that's okay. Let's, um, I can always look it up. Let's grab the shop rock. I want to wield it. So at the very least, I have that if something goes wrong. No, not turn on safe mode. There we are. There is rocks to the southwest. That's what I wanted to know. More black rock. Yep. Black rats. It's the same black rat. I just turned on and off safe mode. What are you going to tell me about this rat? He's tracking me. This black rat, an omnivorous rodent with sheer black fur, long, rough tail, harbinger of pestilence, famine, and mange. It will sometimes swarm over dead or dying. Well, I am neither. He probably just wants to see what I'm all about. I could probably go up there and kill him with a rock if I wanted to, which I kind of do just because it sounds like fun, but... I need to stay focused. Please keep ignoring him. All right, but we want a regular rock. We have nothing to wear. That's fine. Wield. Let's wield this rock. And store the old one in my inventory. That's fine. Two rocks is probably enough for now. Let's see if we can check this bush. It's empty. We'll go back inside. And we have some things we want to do. Close that door. I do not want to be seen. Let's also tear down this curtain. We have a pocket knife. Let's see if we can... Cut up sheets, cut up stick. I'm not interested in that. Cut up long string. Um... Yeah, let's first just start smashing things. I'm going to smash the hell out of this bench and this bench. And then we're going to try to craft things. What can we craft? Pointy stick, uh, good start. Not what we want right now. I'm hoping to do better than that. Chemicals, lots of things you can craft. And these aren't by any means close to as many recipes as there are in the game. All kinds of things. But first, we want a wooden needle because we're going to be making some stuff. Craft the wooden needle from memory. Very impressive. Um, armor. No, we don't want armor. We want storage. Right now, we can't carry very much in our inventory. We can physically hold things that are big, but we can't. We don't have anything to put large things like 
on us. We need to change that. I would like very much to get a duffel bag. It's going to take 40 rags and 30 thread. We can do that. It's a tailoring ring of two. Very nice. Duffel bags let you hold all kinds of things. However, they really encumber you, so if you're going to get in a fight with something in melee, it's important to try to drop it first. So you can dodge incoming attacks. 40 rags, 30 thread. Feeling confident about this. Let's go ahead. Cut up this to small shrinks. Cut up it again. Small shrinks to thread. Perfect. Sheets. Sheets should be torn up into racks. No. That's not what I want. Cut up a sheet like that. 19. Rags we can turn into threads too, but that takes a long time. An hour for each rag. Which would make sense, because if you had to pull those apart by hand, it would probably take you an hour. At the very least, I'm sure it would feel like it. Cut up other sheet, 30 seconds. So, 19. 19 from both. Obviously, more short, a little. Let's tear this down. Tear it down. We'll go ahead and cut up some more. So we're standing here. I am in the dark. It's too dark. Damn. This should be close enough to pick up all those things and build it, but we might have to check. Duffel bag. Fan. Freaking tastic. This is going to be, oh, a duffel bag looks funny. Maybe we need better tile set. So here's this in progress duffel bag. Um, let's skip some time and see. I don't know what it means by in progress. Do I have to be standing on it? Weird. It's really weird. Normally you just make things and it takes some time to make things and then it does. I don't like this one bit. You start working on it. Okay. Well, there we go. We started working on it. And then we made it. Cool. That's kind of what I was expecting in the first place. So you can see in the top left there. You can't because my, oh, my head's not quite in the way. God, there's no place that I could put my camera. I don't think. It's really hard. Well, you can definitely see now that in the volume section, we can't store this on us. We don't have pockets deep enough to put this bag in. So it's going to be mad. It's going to want us to do something about it. We will. We will be doing something about it. We can just straight up hold it in our arms. Obviously, we can hold it. Or we can just wear it, which is what we obviously want to do. So now our volume should be bigger. That should be solving one of our biggest early game problems. Uh, next, what do I want? A weapon. Weapon sounds nice. I believe it's some way to store water, but I don't think we're going to be quite there for some time. It would be nice because that's going to be our first problem is whether or not we get to drink something in time. Our water is probably going to freeze soon. But I have a plan if that happens. It might be a decent plan. I don't know. Might not be. Let's go back to weapons because that's what I was saying. There's a certain weapon in particular that I want. It is a piercing weapon. It is this... Not here. It's not here. Hmm. Well, that's troublesome. It's a pointy stick. Crap. I do not want a pointy stick. I imagine the pointy stick is going to break easily if we stab things with it. It does not conduct electricity. can use it to craft bindle. Cooking quality. Okay, whatever. It has a medium blocking ability. Mm -hmm. Copper spear sounds nice, but I'm nowhere close to making that. I actually wouldn't be that hard 
if I just had nearby fire. Well, we can't do that. And I know how to find some copper. I don't know if it would be enough copper. I'm not sure if it's something I really want from life. Hmm. Copper knife, makeshift knife. Uh, I mean, the makeshift knife is better than nothing. The knife spear. Knife spears used to be really good. Then they nerfed the hell out of them. Because the item is flimsy. You can see the bottom there. I don't know how to make it scroll down. But you can see that it is flimsy. Which means it's going to break very easily in a fight. It was kind of everyone's go-to weapon and they would use it for a long time. Because it was so good. Hmm. It's not easy to find a long stick, but it's not worth it now. So I guess there's that. This one does not have reach, which is really what we want. We don't want to be fighting something hand-to-hand. -hand. We would rather be poking it from far away. That's what I want from life. This would be pretty nice. Hmm. Let's see about making something we can start a fire in. I'm probably just gonna press F to search it. Just because I don't know where it is necessarily in the list. We need a hammer. Okay, we can make a hammer. We need sheet metal. I know where I can find sheet sheet metal. Uh stone. Excuse me. Yep. I need what is this now? One rock. I have a rock. So why wouldn't you be happy with that? I don't know why it's browned out. You can't do that. Oh, because I need... Well, I have a... I see, because I need a tool with one of hammering, which I have, it's my rock, but then I can't hammer my rock with the other rock. That makes some sense, I suppose. So basically, I just need another rock, I think. And there were some out there, so. You, you don't see anything around you. Nope, there's one right there. Crap, I should have just gone that way to begin with. Looking pretty snazzy with this duffel bag. That is for freaking sure. Let's close that because I don't trust anything. Don't trust a thing. And let's see if we can try this again. I do know where tools are. Stone hammer. Yes. Let's use a 2x4. They're easier to get. And we have that. Excellent. So from here, we just need... Scrap metal, sheet metal, it was. Smash up these lockers. Should be able to get something like that from here. Eventually, if we smash it. It's going to take a long time. Oh, I don't seem to be damaging it. Really? Well, that is a problem. There's some better tile sets, and I've seen one that makes it isometric too, which seems like a mind screw. But this used to be all ASCII. I don't even think it was that long ago. I'm arguing with other shit. Uh, it used to be all ASCII, but no, it's not all text. I can't, I can't do the ASCII to be perfectly honest. Uh, but yeah, it does kind of explain all it, doesn't it? This game's a lot of fun. There's so much depth to it, and it's, it's just a wonderful game. I'm so excited to learn how to play it. This version is apparently slightly different than the one I'm playing on my phone, though, because it does not all work the same by any means. Let's see if we wield. Oh, I'm not wielding anything. That's my problem. I'm just punching the locker over and over again. No wonder it's not. It's not breaking. It's like the rock should break it. Yes, the rock will break it. My fists will not. There we go. What do we got over here? Pipe, small metal, chunk of sheet. Chunk of sheet. Mm, not what I'm looking for. Small metal sheet. Huh. Interesting. 
what do we have here? We might need to get let's move their additional staff. Let's see what else I can make. Bundle of rags. Yeah, sure. Stone hammer, makeshift hammer, hammer, screwdriver. Ooh, perfect. This will be even better. Once again, we'll do the two by fours. So with this, we can actually just straight up disassemble things, which is with this key. Deconstruct. Bam. And we should get different things. Now we get sheet metal instead of scrap metal. Things like that. Same with the benches. We'll get more parts. They'll be whole and stuff broken up. Yeah, this is a fury. Sadly, it did not work. So now I feel pretty confident. I'm pretty sure brazier or brazier. It's not brazier. That's what you wear. Brazier. Uh, the guy I watched play this for a long time before I ever played it always said brazier. And people were like, that's not right. So now it's my habit to say brazier, even though I know it's brazier. And I know what a brazier is. So they're not the same. If you don't know the difference. But this is what we want. It's basically a metal fire pit. That I crafted from memory. See, I wonder if I interrupted my crafting before. I must have. Maybe that's why it was in progress. I'm just a complete, you know, complete idiot, which is quite possible. So let's go ahead and try to set this thing down. We can deploy it. I would like that very much. Bam. We can even throw some wood in it, cook some things. I don't think that's something I have to do right now. I'm f Let's see here. Well, I was looking to make a weapon. That's what this was all about. I can make crossbow. But I can't make an actual bow. Hmm. Because I have no skill in archery. Maybe we can go out soon and find a book on archery. That would be really, really awesome. Anyways, what I really want is to try to make this. I will need a nearby fire. I can do that now. I will need one long stick. That will be possibly more difficult. We'll have to go out to the forest and see if we can break something down. And three scrap copper. Or 300 copper, which is the same as far as I know. Copper is going to be a little bit more difficult. You can see there's two computers here. This one obviously working, the other one not so much. Let's actually use this one. The reason why you don't want to break the computer that works is because in the middle of the night when you can't see anything, you can actually read by it. It's not great light, but it's some light. But for now, I want contact us. These other things, they're cute little texts, but contact us tells me where to find um, like one of the camps or something. So it usually reveals a fair amount of the map. But other than the light, that's all I should should ever need about it. So you can see now we have more places discovered. It's actually not that far away. This is a refugee center. Oof. Botanical garden. Construction site. Music store. Interesting. Cemetery house. Field. Field. What is this? Radio station. Grocery store. Wonderful. Grocery stores sure do look a lot like houses, though. There's two of them down there in the recycling center. Hmm. Subway. Small trail. Community garden. Open sewer. Pizza parlor. Who doesn't like pizza? Gun store. Gun store is not going to be as helpful as you might think it would be right off the bat. Homeless camp. Really? Well, that actually might be worth visiting. Fortunately, the closest forest to us is where that Migo was, um, which terrifies me. I want nothing to do with that Migo. It will hunt us down and murder me without hesitation. Butcher shop. So do I see, if I look closely, any grocery stores in town? I think I do. Up here? Indeed. That is going to be a very dangerous walk. Fairfield. Oh, we know the name of the town now. Cool. Do not be fooled. That is not going to be easy to get to. Um, but we do want to find a store relatively quickly because we are going to want to find 
a grocery cart that we can drag around with us. And of course, you only really find those in stores. You might be in luck to be able to find it in the butcher shop. I don't know. I don't know. The butcher shops I go to have, have carts. I don't know if that's going to be the case with here, though. The refugee or the homeless camp might do us well. Either way, I think it's about time to uh, go out. Let's deconstruct this computer. Yeah, exactly, right? We're going to be very homeless-esque for, for some time. So we got all kinds of cool bits and parts from it. Copper wire, obviously what we're looking for. And I think that's all we really need other than that long stick. And we can make ourselves a... Oops, that's not what I wanted. What was it that I wanted? Where was it? There we go. A really nice sounding spear. Copper spear sounds relatively nice. Three scrap copper, not wire. Hmm. So I can break down the wires into copper, base copper. I don't know where I'd get scrap copper from. I can break apart these things over here. From the southeast, you hear bang. God, that, that is concerning. And then Freaka goes, did you hear someone talking? No, I didn't hear someone talking. I did hear a gun go off. Ugh. Concerning, it's very concerning. So we have processor boards, we have RAMs, we have circuit boards, power converters, amplifier circuits, all things that I can probably get copper from. Any specific store brand? What, for my for my real life butcher shops? I'm sorry, I'm so hyper focused on trying to not <laughs> not die my first day. I don't know when you said that. Oh, for my cart? Uh, I got one in my last game playthrough at a clothing store of all things. It didn't have any wheels, so I really just spent a long time dragging it everywhere. <laughs> which makes noise, apparently. Which is not good when you're trying to be stealthy from zombies. Um, but it didn't really ever seem to be that much a problem. I would like to find one. I think any store will do it, as far as I know. But And you can just find them randomly, too. I think. Useful electronic recipes I'm not too hard up on not breaking these down into stuff solder three electronic scrap one copper wire circuit board power converters I don't know if power converter will break down anything or not circuit boards like they should all be broken down in something electronic scrap I think the only way to really find out is just to pull it apart and see. Processor board. To be perfectly honest. I agree. I think I think anyone, any store, and then some, some other places that you wouldn't think necessarily should have like some type of shopping cart too. Let's get back into the light and see if we can disassemble these items. Drop where? Not what I wanted. D, disassemble. There we go. Multi-drop. No. This isn't what I want either. Uh, though this is cool. I didn't know this was a thing. I don't have a lot of these shortcuts on my phone, or they're not as easy to bring up because it's a phone. So it's really cool to have some of these extra things. Also, the log is a lot harder to read. Um, how is my water? It's cold, but not frozen. Let's drink some. I'm already getting thirsty. That actually my food go away despite not filling me up you drink your clean water I'm still thirsty well hopefully that scaves off some of the immediately dying typically what happens is that water freezes and then I can't drink it and then I dehydrate and die the first day that's my usual experience with that so I'm, I'm happy that, that I was able to drink it first at least though it still says I'm thirsty Go to inventory. Let's go to the scrap electronics. You will not let me disable. Or disassemble. I'm sure it's already disabled. Hmm. Well, that kind of stinks. 
Let's go back. Amplifier circuits. I can disassemble, but it's red, meaning it's not ideal. It should be green. I mean, plenty of light. Probably don't have the right tools to take it apart. Maybe if I had a soldering iron, I could unsolder it. Oh, I need a soldering iron, period. Oh, no. So much for that. I really, I can't just like smash it apart to grab something. That's kind of annoying. You don't let me do that at all. You will if I had a soldering iron. Well, crap. Copper might be a bit harder than I thought them to get. Which really sucks. To be perfectly honest, how about you? You're going to be the same. How about copper wire? Takes about one unit and may yield one copper. Are you kidding me? One copper? And I needed 300? Crap. And that's a may yield. That's that's not a guarantee. Well, there's four. <laughs> Let me just make sure I'm understanding this right before I get too depressed over it. But I'm rather positive that I am. Copper spear. Yes, we need 300. I understand that copper wire doesn't have a lot of copper in it. Um, I'm not dumb to that extent, but I was hoping for more than four copper. Well, shit. For now, we have a pointy stick, which is abysmal. I might be better off clubbing things with a rock, to be perfectly honest. Son of a gun. Son of a gun. Crude sword. I would need a two by sword, which I could probably, yeah, I could definitely make. Bash of 12. That's way better. I mean, if I'm going to be finding something like hand to hand, I want it to be good. So crude sword, what do you give me? Bash of six and cut of 14. Minus one hit bonus. Well, that's not good because my hit chance right now is probably terrible. So while it does give me bash and cut, which sounds nice, my melee skill, I'm sure, is like one. Which is not quite what you want. So, damn. Damn. That's all I have to say about that. Do any of these have? This has a plus one. This sounds pretty cool. I need duct tape or glue. Otherwise, I can find the rocks. Glass shiv. I know it would get broken glass. Worth scythe sounds pretty awesome as well. I don't think anyone's going to disagree with that. It can do reach attacks as well, which makes it great. But I need a scythe blade. God knows where I would even find that other than maybe like a farm. <laughs> and duct tape, which I don't have either. Okay. Let's go. Well, actually, I want this too. I want the makeshift crowbar. That's going to be important to us. And I don't know necessarily why it's listed as a weapon, but yeah, right? I can kick in one of the windows that I'm right next to. Bam! Broken glass. Uh, not recent. I've never really looked at any of these because I've never thought I've needed to. Actually, this has a bash of two and a plus two chance to hit. This really isn't a bad weapon. I, I got it so I can pry things open, like houses, but it's got a medium blocking ability. That's actually not terrible either. This I can make a real crowbar. <laughs> Trick of steel. Long strings. I can make a home wrecker, which is a bash of 28. Minus 3 to hit. That's unfortunate, because that sounds like it would absolutely destroy people. Barbed wire bat. Need a bat. Nail bat. Uh, the baseball field's near us, though, so we might be able to do that. Bash 14, plus chance hit 0. This sounds like a real basic weapon. 
the Nair Sword, or Norn. Yeah. This makeshift crowbar, though, has plus two to hit. Its moves per attack isn't that bad. 12 and 1, that's really not that bad. We were looking at doing something similar here. This is slightly better in terms of moves of attack. This is 12, 1, 1. This is 12, 1, 2, but takes a little bit longer. But not much. That extra chance to hit, I want this. We're just going to use this as a weapon. I think that should be fine. And I'm super smart, so nothing to worry about there. Let's go ahead and wield it as soon as I can find it in this list of things that I have on me. Which should be easy. Make sure to go by there. Yeah. Let's go ahead and store that in inventory. And then we're going to do multi-drop. Because a lot of the stuff we don't really need on us. Uh, let's cancel that. Where do I want to drop things? We'll just do it right here. Let's see. Keep the pocket knife, screwdriver, hammer. We might need to disassemble things. This is super light, so we'll might as well keep this too. Cell phone basically will just tell me the time, which really isn't that useful. I can guess the time by looking at the sky. That's really all I care is when is the sun going to go down. Yeah, it is. I would like to board up the windows or something to that effect. Uh, but at this point, something's going to smash through that glass regardless. At that point, I feel like it might as well be me breaking it. Sharp rock. Um, sure. Oops. Wrong button. I've never used this before. We'll just drop all these. This menu is so much nicer than what I used to do. Bam. All right. Multi-drop. There we go. Let's head down to the forest. It is most likely a very dangerous place to go. So not too thrilled about going down there. Uh, the FEMA camp is that way, and I think that's why we keep hearing explosions. Um, how do I zoom out? Let's go check real quick. I would like to zoom out. And even though I have a really nice like mini-map down there. It's probably something I need to learn anyways. Do, 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 do. I swear I saw it for a second there. Zoom in, zoom out. Z and Z. Well, that makes sense, I guess. I can really see it right in there. Moving on the grass is slow. Yes, thank you, friend. Okay, there's already something pretty terrible over there. Let's um, Z one more time and then go look at it. I know what this is. This is crap. This is an artifact. What is that? This is a 24 inch wheel. Might be a car or something over there. So this is an artifact. There are like random relics, relics and artifacts. They will have magical properties. They are usually not good, or if they seem like they're good, will have some type of weird side effect going on. Uh, some of them will do really cool things. This is a glittering crystal. Part of me says, screw it, just go pick it up. This is just a pile of rubble, it doesn't really say. I don't know if it's like a meteorite that crashes things like that, but it is, it's something. There's something over there. Might as well get close and really check it out, because why the hell not? Spotted Amigo. That is very, very concerning. Where is he? Where did we spot the Amigo? He is southwest. We knew of his existence. I don't see him on the map, though. Oh, yeah, look at that ugly thing. This it's an alien creature of unsorted origin. Its shapeless pink body bears numerous sets of paired appendages of unknown function. It a pair of ribbed membranous wings, which seem to be quite useless. Its odd, vaguely pyramid-shaped head bristles with numerous wavering antennae. It is simply gazing upon the unnatural beast fills you with a primordial dread. Yeah. He will murder the hell out of me. Let's, um... 
you don't really want to ignore him. But we're going to just ignore him for right now. I knew he was hanging out outside the place. I'm concerned at some point he's just going to get close to where we live and eventually catch me thieving. I'm bathed in radiation. Well, that sounds terrible. I don't know how radiated. No, I am too. That was a bad thing to do. I did not know that I could just get radiated from those. I didn't even get to touch it or look at it. I should have at that point. Here is an amoebic mold. He's fleeing. From something. Form the slime mold the size of a cow. Crystalline bits of cytoplasm fall away as it oozes across the ground. Well, the good news is he doesn't sound incredibly hostile to me, which is good because I was wondering why safe mode didn't do anything to protect me from him. But that would be why. Crap, that radiation. God only knows how much of a problem that's going to be. Uh, I am unhappy. <laughs> I'm irradiated times two. Shit. You suffer from symptoms of radiation sickness that weaken your body. Crap. I don't seem to have any effects from it yet, but I can probably start losing my hair, get sick, and never keep anything down. And uh, die. Yep. Mm-hmm. I'm going to die before I get to murder anything. Let's go look. Heavy stick. Not what I want. That's okay. So I'm going to have to bash a tree, I think. You hear whack, 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 whack. What do we have here? Long stick. Perfect. Um, actually, no, I was coming out here for the long stick. For I can find things that will uh, help my radiation. But yeah, it's just going to kill the cancer that I probably have, right? Accidental chemotherapy. Yeah, that sounds right. This long stick, I think, is what I needed to try to make that weapon that I'm not going to bother making anymore because I can't find copper. It seems like a short-sighted, forgetful thing I've just done. I got radiated, radiated over it for nothing, too. Fantastic. There would be other things I need sticks for. God damn it. Make a repeating crossbow. I have a spring. Heavy sticks, scrap metal, long strings. Mm, I need a tool of bolt turning. I need a wrench or pliers. And I can make myself a crossbow. So it is not that easy. I spotted a pit bull mix. He is to the south. He will probably attack me if he sees me. But the other thing that we came to the forest for, it was not for nothing, was for this pile of water and things to search. Hopefully this purple mix leaves me alone. So let's take this water, pour it into a container, a plastic bottle. There's something left over. That's great. So that is water. It's not salt water it's not brackish water it's water water however still shouldn't drink it it's not clean water it's important to remember the difference there uh examine no i i know that puppy just needs pets he needs pets with a makeshift crowbar is what he needs i'm happy to do uh comply there hey man that's free leather that's free food uh, where did those go? There we go. Let's take these wild vegetables. I can heat them up and do something with them. Hopefully. <laughs> Alright, so what else do we need? We need a way to heat things up and cook them. We have a fireplace. We can cook things there. But if something freezes, like these vegetables or something, we need a way to warm them up so we can cook with them or just eat them or whatever. That's a pot. We can make a pot. Um, under tools, there will be a stone pot, I believe. Here's a regular pot. That's too much of a pain to make. 
Hopefully I can make a stone pot. Uh, crap, that might be a survival skill that I don't have. Crap, that makes things hard. Hmm. Pot. Yeah, we can't make that crap, so I'm going to have to find one. Crap. Crap, okay. That's fine. Hey, that's that's not a big deal. We can make a pot helmet if I get a pot. Good news, we're going to be going to somebody's house. And hopefully not dying or getting even more radiated like I'm currently trying to do. Fucking radiation. God knows what we're going to run into. Town. I don't like to go this early to somewhere that might have a bunch of zombies. So we might be booking it as soon as we get there. That is a very, very real possibility. Luckily, though, we have one house off by itself. It's not surrounded by other things. It's it's really quite isolated. Oh, you know what? No, screw that. We're going to go to the hobo camp. I'm sorry. Homeless camp. It's insensitive to call them hobos, probably. Let's call them in like I see it. Oh, no. What do we spot? Another rat? It feels like it's the same rat. Newspaper. Nope. Tell me about the monsters. Just the rat. Because I can see on our map there that it is north of us. That house is right there. Actually, what is this? Oh, that's a car. Fantastic. It looks super intact. It probably is like missing a wheel or something. Wheel is damaged. Oh, it's a truck of all things. The alternator is broken. So it's lying. It's not. It's not lying. I was just wrong when I thought maybe it was intact. And there's another car across the street there too we can go look at. And we will be. Cars can have some really cool things in them. Plus they're cars. That's not enough. I don't know what it is. Nope, nope, nope. I don't know what I did there, but I don't want to do it. Check these bushes. Checking the bushes can get you some low level survivor skill, which we very much need because the survival skill is needed to uh, make basic survival things that I thought I could do but I can't so there you go we're gonna be taking a break soon here and then I think I'm gonna try to find some music or something to play in the background because I thought there'd be more music and noise with the sound pack apparently not um, and this dreadful <laughs> is dreadfully quiet but here's our homeless camp there is a Labrador mutt Ah, somebody's pet, most likely from the homes camp. He's uninjured, once average Labrador mixed breed. He's clearly gone feral. Though he's likely to still instinctually trust humans. It's probably far from domestication. 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 There is a good chance that if we had dog food or food, we could have him be our friend and follow us. I'm pretty positive that's a thing. It is a shrub, it is empty. It's a shrub, it is empty. Ah, what do we find there? My survivor skill has increased, and I found glass shards. You know what? Screw it. I'll take the glass shards. I can't be too cri incredibly picky right now, I don't think. And thankfully, my survivor skill went up to one, so I might be able to make that stone pot now that I was really, really wanting. Stone pot, stone pot, clay pot. I can make a clay pot. You joker. Five lumps of clay, and I need a kiln. Of course I do. Well, we'll keep trying, I guess. Can I deconstruct this? And what do I get for it? That's a sofa. I'm deconstructing. All the peppers. All the pets. Rags. Uh, 12 2 by 4 so that's a fair amount. But no, like, leather or anything. I was hoping for, like, a leather sofa. What is this? There's a gi giant acidic ant to the northwest. That is incredibly concerning to me. There seems to be two of them. They do not know that I'm here. God, acidic ants. A monstrous brown ant with a swollen abdomen that ends with a small orifice at the tip. Glistening liquid seems to drip out it periodically. 
that's not not a thing I want to screw with. What is this book? We got matchbook. We got rolling paper. Not interested in and tobacco, which I'm also not interested in. And spam calls. Lots of spam calls on my phone. Well, this was not quite what I was looking for then. I was hoping to find more than that. What is this thing here, though? What is this? No, I can't move my mouse over it. Tell it. I thought I could. Well, whatever. Let's just look then. A makeshift bed. That's nice, but I can't like take it with me. I actually, I maybe will grab it and drag it. You grab the makeshift bed. It feels really heavy, so I'm probably gonna hurt myself if I try to do that. So let's not. I found a plastic bottle. Oh, hell yeah, I'm gonna take that plastic bottle. Plant fiber, I don't care so much about that. Didn't find anything, didn't find anything, didn't find anything. Wash through the underbrush, yes. Found a bottle of vegetables. It's not a good idea just to straight up eat them. You wanna cook them. It's gonna be hard if I don't have like a pot or anything. I'm scared that I'm going to chase that Labrador mutt into the ants because he's kind of just running away from me. I would think he'd be faster than a giant ant, but you know, you never know. Didn't find anything. Didn't find anything. Well, at least we can fill up the water here. It says that I'm slaked my drinking. I don't know why. There's sand there, which could be good to know. I haven't drank anything lately. At least I wasn't trying to. If I did, then that could have been really bad for me. Didn't want to just drink random water. Won't make you sick. And possibly kill you from what I understand. I'm not looking to see if that's true. Handful of hickory nuts. Let's pick those up. If anything, it is food. All right, let's go ahead and pour into the container. Now we have two plastic bottles of water. That puts us in a pretty decent spot, really. Not as decent as I would like to be. We don't have a legit weapon. We don't have any armor. It's still very much daytime, but we can go check out these cars. Yeah. And stay the hell away from those ants. There's a coyote around too, which makes me nervous. He is to the northeast. Of course he is. I imagine he would want to start a fight with us. Crap. How many coyotes is that? Mutt, mutt, mutt. Okay. We no longer see coyotes. Just three dogs having a blast out there. Packs of dogs you do need to be concerned about. It's just water. Anytime you see it like laying around like that, it's just water. With a fire, though, we should be able to... No, we're going to have to boil it. I need something that can boil. We need to get in these houses and find like a pan or something, which is much easier said than done. But not impossible. Spotted a fat zombie. Crap. He's in the house you want to go to. Fat zombies aren't particularly difficult. Stumbling as it moves, this corpse of an overweight human regards its surroundings with an empty black gaze. I'm going to have to ignore him from now. I don't have anything ranged. I would like to get a bow soonish, but that's easier said than done. Okay, we no longer see him. Let's examine the car. What do we have here? wheels enough gasoline battery we have a bit of battery but it won't last very long because there's no alternator it has been destroyed otherwise I think this is everything we need to drive it seat belts are in bad condition but who cares muffler cargo space Gasoline tank. How much gasoline do you have? 
Gasoline? Yes. How much? 2%. So not very much gasoline. We wouldn't get very far either. So not today, but maybe soon. It's a fat zombie. Fat zombie, do you know I'm here yet? Fat zombie is aware that I'm here. So let's kite him out. Just because there's other zombie friends around. There's nothing in there. Just want to check. Spotted a boomer. Crap. Did you tell your friends about me, fat zombie? You were not supposed to do that. Nah, he's all the way over there. So we can get into this house without a problem then. But I do want to kite him around. In the meantime, let's go check out this car. While he makes his way to us, we might as well try to be productive, I suppose. You really don't want to do these things out in the daytime. I really don't want to do these things out in the daytime. Not in my current condition. Climbing seat. Gasoline. 5.6 liters of gasoline. You have a fair amount. It's a fair amount. You have a car battery that works. You lack wheels. You have a car alternator, which we can't put in the truck. I don't think that will work. But more importantly, there are items in here. That's what that green arrow is saying. Get items. Duct tape! We were looking for duct tape. We needed that for a lot of different weapons. Uh, not any of the really great weapons we were looking for. We found, is that, is that a second fat zombie? Or are you just talking about the one we've seen for ages? Yeah, I know he's right there. We've been seeing him. I appreciate it. I hear thump. I hear thump. Um, where do I hear thump? Inside that house? Is that what that is? No, that's a jacket. I hear thump times two. Where am I hearing this thump? There should be an icon for where I'm hearing it. It's a little yellow sound-like icon. Ooh, there's a bike right here. Ooh, bicycle. Seat is okay. Ah, uh, its wheel seems to be broken. Crap. Its other wheel seems to be broken. Getting a bicycle could be really cool. Really cool. I don't know how hard it's going to be for us to try to repair it, though. Alright, make your way towards me. I hear thump. Where is this freaking thump coming from? There's rats and raccoons all around me. I'm getting hungry. Thump is usually a really bad sign. It could be just him walking, but I don't think so. Thump usually means something's trying to get out from somewhere and get to you. Oh, fuck you. Bites your torso. Of course he does. You swing and miss. Ah, oh, crap, because I'm encumbered. What did I say about being encumbered in a fight? Don't do it. That's why I can't hit him. So let's start running. Let's drop. Where are you? Let's drop the duffel bag. Um, we can drop those things. That's fine. I wasn't trying to. All right. Encumbrance should be better. He's biting me. He's biting me a lot. I'm still missing. 10 points, I hit him. Got a critical. 18. This is why you want to reach item. I could be poking him and he wouldn't be attacking you back. And it wouldn't be such a problem that I'm missing. My armor is protecting me. I swing and miss. You whack him for 17 damage. He bites me again. Whack him again. Another 13 damage. Come on, one more. One more. Apparently. There we go. And he dies. We did it. We finally killed something. <laughs> it did not kill us. That we know of. We are in mild pain. That's a problem. But let's see what he has on. A bunch of crap. That I don't want. Nothing useful in the slightest. See here, it says bruised fat zombie corpse. He's just bruised. We just beat the crap out of him. He's not dead dead. We need to either butcher him into pieces or pulp them, smash them to bits. 
Um, otherwise, he's going to get back up. He's a zombie. He doesn't care. He doesn't care if he's dead. He will care if you mush him into little mushy bits, which is what we're going to do here. It makes a mess. But the corpse is thoroughly pulped. We don't have to worry about him getting back up and finding us again. Let's grab this stuff. Give her the duffel bag. There we go. Ugh. I don't like how much we got bit. Some of it was my fault for having the duffel bag, but most of it was just dumb. Just me being dumb. All right, let's go ahead and open up that window. We pry it open. This seems to be a mop. I kind of don't care, but I can turn a mop into a weapon. Plastic bags with cotton balls. We can use that to clean ourselves with. Salt water. There is toilet water that I don't recommend drinking. We can collect it if we need to and then clean it, but as is, don't drink toilet water. It's, it's a bad idea. That's not what I wanted. Not what I wanted at all. I know this house layout. I just built a base in one of these. This seems like a good book. Under the hood, excellent. It's going to teach us all kinds of cool mechanic things we need. We can raise our mechanic levels. That's a very, very good find to have there. I'm going to go over here. And shut those. Don't want people to uh, see me on the other side of the road there. What do we have here? Advanced electronic cigarette. I don't know what makes it so advanced, but that's okay. Pair of boots. We'll take them. We can rip them apart for leather. A raincoat that fits poorly. I'm not super interested in that. Once again, we're going to shut those. I don't need more people seeing me. Seems to be some cola on the ground. That is great. No, don't tear them down. Close them. A pillow. We're going to want the pillow and the blanket so we can sleep over at the other place. Sleep better. Chocolate drink. Yeah, heck yeah, we're taking it. Duffel bag means we can take all kinds of things. Blankets take up a lot of volume. Hey oh, cargo pants. They fit poorly, but I want them anyways. We can always try to make them fit us. We can adjust them with our sewing. Uh, but that would give us a fair amount of more or less free storage space on us. So we're taking them. Or if we find a belt, I can wear a belt to make them fit better. This is the room I really wanted to be in. Uh, there's no pot in the oven though. Damn. Aluminum can of V8. Interesting. I thought that was a name brand, but okay. <laughs> Maybe it is. Candy honey. That does sound nice. What do you have in here? Cigarette butt. This should be a garage with another book. Another book of Under the Hood. That's a really hard find book, and we found two in this house. What do you have here? A barometer. That's interesting. We'll take it. A pair of work gloves. Absolutely, we'll take those. And battery. A fully charged battery. I like this house setup, mostly because it comes with a garage there that we can open, so if we have a car, we can use that. The house across the street, though, has a basement, which can hold all kinds of secrets. I don't know how deadly it is to get over there, and we're not really in great shape, but we don't really have anything else to do, except for take a break right now. Let's go ahead and try to eat something. It goes bad in three days. Uh, we're not going to eat those because those aren't good vegetables that can make us sick. Can of V8 will go bad in a week. Let's eat the candy, honey candy. No, candied honey. I'm concerned it will freeze soon, but more importantly, it has the most calories. It should make us happy. You can see these things give us joy because they're delicious. Um, chocolate drink will give us more joy. Let's do that. Hopefully improve our mood. All right. And we will could not close the window with curtains from outside. It must be inside. But that's fine. We'll leave it like that. And we will quick save. And I'm going to take a quick break. Um, like I said, I'm going to see if I can find something, some type of music to play. Uh, just so it's not so quiet. It's terrible. But I will grab some water and I'll be right back. It'll be a very sh short break, hopefully. I'll see everyone in just a minute. 